Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for going 11 years this coming Feb. Today I'd like to share Psalm 73 verses 13 to 22. And here is the Word of God. All in vain have I kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. For all the day long I have been stricken and rebuked every morning. If I had said I will speak this, I would have betrayed the generation of your children. But when I thought how to understand this, it seemed to me a wearisome task. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I discerned their end. Truly you set them in slippery places, you make them fall to ruin. How they are destroyed in a moment, swept away utterly by terrors. Like dream when one awakes, O Lord, when you rouse yourself, you despise them as panthoms. When my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, I was brutish and ignorant. I was like a beast towards you. Psalm 73, 13 to 22. And here's the poem I wrote, um, inspired by this psalm. Human Knowledge versus Discernment Do you try to figure out things by yourself? Do you think that if you work hard you can be cleansed? You can do daily task of purifying yourself, but it is all in vain. The cleansing of your soul is a work that only God can do. Why do you keep on understanding what only God can? Why do you keep on thinking hard when you can't understand? Have you not discovered that the more you analyze, the more you are paralyzed? Wouldn't discernment be better than your quest for knowledge? Human understanding is limited, but God's revelation is boundless. What good is it to keep on understanding and finding answers? Doesn't this futile activity just hinder us from hearing God's Spirit? Why keep on wanting to know what God has kept secret? Go to the throne of the Lord and He will give you discernment. Fear the Lord and you will begin to be wise and be enlightened. Rely on your own understanding and you enter the door to disaster. Ask the Lord for discernment and you will see His view and prosper. Reflection. Why do you think it is very easy to overthink and rely on your own understanding while you're uh, trying to think, understand things in this world? And how can we avoid this work of the flesh? Well, our flesh is naturally wanting to know, wanting to know what God knows wanting to be in control, wanting to um, feed our pleasures. And sometimes it's pleasurable to know, because when you know, you can be in control of things. So how can we avoid this work of the flesh? Because in Galatians it says that the work of the flesh is against the work of the Spirit. And the work of the Spirit is to bring glory to God the Father and to God the Son. So when we try to rely on our own understanding, who are we giving glory to? Aren't we giving glory to our own selves? So there is a problem when we do that because now we are created to give the glory to the Lord. And if we don't do what our purpose is in life, then we are going to be on our way to disaster, on our way to ruin. So to avoid this work of the flesh, we need to feed on the Word of God. We need to eat it, as the Word says, eat the Word of God. And in Jesus says also when he was being tempted by the devil in that 40 days, he said, uh, you don't live on on 
uh, on bread alone, but by the word that comes from the mouth of God. So we can avoid following the flesh if we're constantly in the word, if we're constantly uh, seeking the truth, if we constantly follow God's will, if we constantly um, <clears throat> die to our flesh. Dying to our flesh meaning putting off the old nature because Christ has died for all of us so that we can have a new creation in Christ. So we're the new nature after we remove the old nature. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos to bring you the, the gospel. Thank you.